adults get to adulting. Mm -hmm. It's Sunday. Jamal Bryant, oh, <laughs> pastor of New Birth Missionary Baptist Church, where they rock for Jesus, did an interview and he said that he wanted to find the men that smoked, that smelled like weed because <laughs> he wanted to teach them how to farm. The mm. church has 250 acres of land and he wanted to farm marijuana in the name of God. <laughs> so it, I'm Jesus. gonna go straight to the brothers. <laughs> <laughs> brothers, this is on you. What do you think about uh Jamal Bryant trying to bring the men back to church via marijuana farming? Um well I'm gonna say it's a hell of a tactic. You know, <laughs> it, it um it also shows just how street a lot of these dudes are. You know, a lot of these guys aren't, uh, they are not too far removed from the streets, from the hood. Mm -hmm. So that's really what it is. That's how, that's how I look at it. It's just a way for him to uh, legally be a drug dealer. Mm. You know, a lot of these pastors, you know, if they weren't in their past life, they always wanted to be street dudes. And the ones who couldn't make the cut or the ones who were super street dudes, they came out as pastors, imams, and, you know, Hebrew Israelites, and all of that thing. And then the guys who couldn't make the cut in the streets, you know, they start talking about hallelujah and shaking a tambourine. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's uh there's just a lot of um low level activity that he wants to be involved in. You know, that's all it is. That's how I look at it. I don't I don't see it creating anything for black men but a way for us to go to prison. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as he get mad at somebody, he gonna tell. Ronald Mark. Yeah, that's what I gather right there. He wearing a wire. Um, <laughs> and it's in his hypocritian activity where, you know, he's talking about, hey, I'm growing weed in the name of God, which is very bold. But yeah, as my brother said, when it comes down to it, whenever he feels uh, the right to do so, he can point names out. You can have a whole history. It's basically a, a biblical RICO case, in my opinion. Adrian? I mean, with all that you could do with that much land, why you choose to sell weed or grow weed, I'm sorry. Um, I just think there's reentry programs, things to help men that are getting out of prison, uh, to help educate them, get them ready for work and things like that. So many different things. And J Jamal Bryant was one of the, my favorites. Um, I've actually seen him in person. He, he brings the word good. But um, this really was a turn off for me. I really uh, think there's so many different things that you can do uh, besides growing weed. <laughs> you know what? I say go for it. I'm going to be the eyeball. If he want to make some more money off of his uh, parishioners, why not? Make the money. Weed is legalized nowadays anyway, so, and it's supposed to be, you know, good for the body. Not if sure. not, taken in you know, if we don't overdo it. So most of his congregation probably already smoke weed. So why not get some more money from him? Go ahead. That's my thoughts. Mona. <laughs> I want to know what in the grape juice white cracker <laughs> is going on around here. Uh, right. First question would be, what would Jesus do? Mm -hmm. Would Jesus want 250 acres of weed on his land when he's trying to get everybody to go to heaven. <laughs> um, <Fade> 200, <laughs> 250 acres of land could be used uh, for actual farming. 
fruits and vegetables and livestock, pigs and, and cows. cows and chickens. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe he may not want to do that because allegedly I've heard that a lot of the farmers are saying that the government is paying them to destroy their crops and they're selling their livestock for 50 cent a pound, but putting it in the stores for fifteen dollars, thirty dollars mm. a pound. I just see that he could do much better with that land. Two hundred and fifty acres, that can be houses. Mm-hmm. If everybody got a half an acre and put a house on it, that could be five hundred houses. I don't think that's how you bring the men back to church. Um, do you guys think about the danger of having a weed farm on the church property? I know. Uh, yes. I, yeah. I see the changes as far as like carnal activity in and around the church more said, than usual. He said carnal activity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people laying of hands in other places. Oh, yes. But, and the thing is, like, you bring a negative element in there. Like, how's that going to look if you're so supposed to be getting cleaned? It's supposed to be an infirmary for people to get healed rather than get high. Mm-hmm. And, and let's not forget, it might bring the Jack boys in there. They're going to rob the whole church. That's, Where the weed at? that's true. Mm-hmm. Now that's true. Where the weed at? Don't say it ain't in here because we smell it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not smell it. You, you can actually see it. Mm-hmm. Do, w- can we imagine what 250 acres of weed is going to look like? And I have to agree with DS1. The jackers are coming. The cartel. The cartel mm-hmm. is coming. <laughs> and and he said he's looking for the men to, uh, that smell like weed. Then he'll know what strands to get. (laughs) Right? (laughs) What strands to get to grow. If they already smoking weed, he doesn't have to do any actual research. He could be like, hey, Mo, what what you smoking on? And I'll be like, "Uh, SpongeBob. 